Good evening, children. How are you today? It's Miss Frony here. I hope that you all are ready for tonight, and I hope that you enjoy yourself. Before we start, we're going to a word of prayer, okay? Lord, thank you for all the little people that's on this virtual conference tonight. Lord, we ask that you touch their hearts, God. Touch their minds. Continue to cover them, Lord. Touch their families. And let them know that you love them so much and that you have the whole world in your hands. Amen. Children, are you excited? I hope that you are ready for tonight. We have a wonderful program that's prepared for you. And I want you to remember that you've got to make your mark. So for, the, for tonight, once we get off, take time and do your hand print on some paint and write down how you're going to make a mark in the world yourself. Love you. Hi, I'm Josiah. And I'm Joseph. And we want to welcome you to the Youth Crusade 2021. I'm so glad to have the three children that I have here with me on today is Zach. Wave your hand, Zach. And we have Khalil, wave your hand, Khalil. And we have Naraya, wave your hand. And today, for our virtual youth conference, we are taking a moment to enjoy and talk to some of our young children, our little people. And I have a question for y'all today. Are y'all ready to answer me? Yeah! Okay, so I wanna know, what do you think how do animals communicate with each other? What do you think, Zach? I think they like know what they're saying to each other because both of them. But how, how do they sound? Do you know? Like how, how do they talk to each other? Like. Cause see how we talk? We talk in English, right? And some humans talk in Spanish, some talk, everybody talks in different languages. So how do animals talk to each other? Can y'all tell me that? Yes! <laughs> what does it sound like? Well, a lion like roars. This like, kind of like a hoon. Can so he roars? How, how, how does a lion roar? Naraya, I heard you. Naraya, I heard you. Roar, good, good. <laughs> so what about, what about um, other animals? So can a lion communicate with a cow? No! No! no. He, 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 so what does the cow say? Moo! So they can't talk to each other? No! Yeah. Yeah. Don't they don't! They don't! No. Yeah! No. 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 They don't! <laughs> okay. Well, I really enjoyed you all today. I thank y'all. I know that um, you all are ready to get back in children's church. And we are almost there, okay? So let's keep on being safe. Let's wear our masks. Let's wash our hands. And let's keep on praying. And before we do it, we're going to be back in children's church hopefully before the year is out, okay? Okay. Okay. And I love y'all very much. Okay. Oh, okay. Love you. So how about, so how about before we get off, let's all roar like a lion, okay? Okay. So five, four, three, two, roar! roar! Child of God and I know it gets hard But I'ma 
That good story? Do you have a favorite part on Frozen you like? What is it? When she get frozen? Oh, when she comes unfrozen. Oh, okay. Is that the first one or the second? First one. Good. All right. Anybody else? Yes, ma'am. Okay, Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse. So that concludes our short segment with our little ladies. We have a special treat that comes next. And we are so excited to say everybody. Bye. Bye. Hello, boys and girls. I am so excited to be here with you tonight for this virtual youth crusade. Do you all know who I am? That's right. I am First Lady Rebels, and I am so thrilled to be here tonight with you to share some stories. Listen, are you all familiar with the Holy Bible? This is God's book, and this book has 66 stories or 66 different books in it. Some of the stories you all have already read in children's church. You know about Samuel. You probably know about Daniel in the lion's den. I'm telling you, this book has some awesome stories. And I hope when you come back to children's church that you will listen to your youth chapel teachers teach you some of the amazing stories in this Bible. But tonight, because I already know you all are getting ready to go to bed, and there's this book that I found, and I wanted to share it with each of you tonight. So if you will, sit tight. I need you to be very quiet and pay attention as I read this book to you. Now, the title of this book is The Book With No Pictures by B.J. Novak. That's right, this book literally has no pictures. All right, are you ready? Here we go. This is a book with no pictures. It might seem like no fun to have someone read you a book with no pictures. It probably seems boring and serious, except here is how this book works. Everything the words say, the person reading the book has to say. No matter what, that's the deal, that's the rule. So that means even if the words say work, wait, what? That doesn't even mean anything. Barf! <gasps> wait a second. What? This isn't the kind of book I wanted to read. And I have to say every word the book says? Uh-oh, boys and girls. First lady might be in trouble. I am a monkey who taught myself to read. Hey, I'm not a monkey. And now I am reading you this book with my monkey mouth in my monkey voice. That's not true. I'm not a monkey. Yes, I am a monkey. Also, I am a robot monkey. What? Hmm. And my head is made of blueberry pizza. Wait a second. Is this whole book a trick? Can I stop reading, please? No! And now it's time for me to sing you my favorite song. A song 
Do I really have to sing? A. Gluck, gluck, gluck. My face is a bug. I eat ants for breakfast. Right off of the rug. What? This book is ridiculous. Can I stop reading yet? No. There are more pages. I have to read the rest. My only friend in the whole wide world is a hippo named Boo Boo Butt. Boo Boo Butt? <gasps> and also, the kid I'm reading this book to is the best kid ever in the history of the entire world. Oh, really? Hmm. And this kid is the smartest kid, too, because this kid chose this book even though it had no pictures. Because kids know this is the book that makes grown-ups have to say silly things and make silly sounds like, oh, no. Oh no, oh no, here it comes. because it had me doing and saying some really weird things. But the most important thing is that you enjoy the book and when it talked about you being the smartest kid ever, that's to all of my children that are watching, you are the smartest kids because God created you, God loves you, and that's why you have to remember each night before you go to bed, be sure to pray to God and thank him for letting you see another day and for letting you get good rest. And when you're feeling down and sad, remember to sing joyful songs. Your scripture for tonight before you go to bed is Genesis 1 and 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Good evening. I hope that you enjoyed the program. If you did, we would love for you to support the children's ministry right now. There should be some links on, uh, down the bottom, some directions to tell you how that you can give to the children's ministry. We are preparing for our Hallelujah Day. We are preparing for children's church. We are getting back out there into the world to enjoy our children and teach them more about the love of Christ. Also, we want you to know that if you can, please give to us to the children's ministry right now to assist with our Christmas at Cathedral, which will be in December. We are, we are so grateful for all that you do and all of your support. Once again, I hope that you enjoyed tonight's program. Don't forget, tomorrow night is college night. So tell all your friends, tell your loved ones, tell your siblings, tell everybody to get online. Tomorrow night is the last night. And we are excited for what God's going to do for our college kids. Good night.